Okay guys, so let's start unboxing the FDM Duo from Elad QRP Transceiver SDR that I bought at the Dayton Invention. Like I mentioned in my other video, I opened the box to see that everything was there because it was not sealed. I didn't plug, didn't try the equip equipment yet, didn't went around, just took the, the FDM Duo, put it on top of the box for a picture that I put on Twitter, if you, if you you can follow me on Twitter and Facebook to see some new stuff, but I didn't open officially that box, okay? So I wanted to keep it, to do it with you. So let's start unboxing the Helab FDM Duo QRP, which is 100% controllable by software, similar to a Flex or other SDR radio. So let's start. So the box is very small. Let's take a look. Hold on. The only thing you will see from Elad is this. This here. Okay. Sorry. I'm probably out of focus. There you go. So the only thing you're going to see is this. It's the black model. There's a green, uh, like a military green camouflage, if you like, color. And there's also a red model. But I took, I wanted to have the black model. So let's open the box. So in the box, what we have is this. When you open up, you have to see, it's like a big mouse pad. I don't know, it's pretty heavy, the radio. So the mouse pad is probably for the table, so it would not move. That's what I heard. So there's the mouse pad. Okay, it's heavy, it seems to be very good quality. You have a quick start guide, okay, in there. A quick start guide. Sorry, I'm on the right side, wrong side. This is the quick start guy. Okay. And you will have another information uh, sheet from Elan. And then you will have this USB stick. This USB stick holds the software for the, F uh, the SDMU. Uh, sorry. <laughs> FDM Duo. It has a software on it to run it on the PC, firmware upgrade and everything. And then you'll have this big ca cable bag which has, okay, let's open it up. This is a cable. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. That is a stereo speaker type. 2.5 millimeter cable um, okay you have the power cable with the fuse so I, I only need to put some power poles on it Anderson power pole maybe I'll do a shorter and a longer one for portable operation then you have another stereotype cable one USB for USB 3 I guess one, another USB, another USB cable, okay, this is a type A. And then you have like a USB to micro USB, a small red cable, COM port cable with connector in there. So we'll see later on what it does. And now there is the radio. You know, doing an unboxings when you already look in the box, not the same but that's why I try to not open the box first but I will turn it on with you for the first time this is the Elad see how it's small it's quite heavy it has nice front legs on it to have it angle this was something I consider for the moral okay because of this very small legs good legs put on the table have a right view you have some SO39 connector in the back, okay? RX and TX. You can use a different, you can have an RX antenna only and a TX RX and, you know, you have two ports, that particular for a QRP. And uh, you have a ground connector as well. You will have port RF outs and RF ins if you want to. There is a TCXO in there, I think it's 0 0.05 ppm. And you can have a source, another source, to have it better than that, okay? You have a RX USB, that's probably for the audio. 
and you have the TX USB so you can TX and RX directly from that radio doing digital mode okay you can do it with software and I think you can decode in front of the radio as well you can decode CW maybe RTTY but CW for sure because I saw a video on that there's a guy called Kenneth who has very good video about the ELAD uh, you can look him up he's on YouTube and did a very fine job and he's got a radio voice this guy has a BBC voice whatever <laughs> this, look, look look him up look for ELAD you will find this video right away okay and you have the PTT and mic connector. That's here when I can, you can connect the icon microphone. You have the TX, like I said, that's for digital mode communication. So it's like adding different COM port and you have the CAT control in USB as well. It has a FDDI uh, controller inside of it. That's what I understand. Power on switch. And you have as well the 13.8 volts connector, okay? And from what I heard for QRP, this one is very, you know, can tolerate low, lower voltage from a battery. So we'll find that out. In the front, you have a VFO, okay? And on the VFO, you also have a push button. Okay, I saw that from the Kenneth video. And they all have push button, and this is the volume, but it can be programmable, and you have some function menu over here, airphone, and audio out as well. So that's the... FDM duo. Okay, hold on a second. I'll just get. Oh, there's something else in the box. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. This is the microphone that comes with it. Okay, it's on branded microphone. ICOM compatible, I presume, because they say that it is ICOM compatible in the, in uh, in the manual. You can download the full manual on the ELAD side. You will find in the bottom, in the comments below, the link to the uh, ELAD. There is an American distributor. There's also an Italian side. This radio is made in, in Italy. And you can download the full manual and look it up. So this is the mic, plastic mic, basic. Okay, good for QRP operation. So that's it. There's nothing else in the box, as you can see. And this was my Helab FDM Duo QRP unboxing. So can't wait to turn it on. See you later, 73.